Now that Woodgrove Bank has configured their virtualization platform with clustered Hyper-V servers and their management infrastructure with System Center Virtual Machine Manager, or VMM, and Operations Manager, or Ops Manager, they can begin to migrate their existing physical servers to virtual machines. There are several methods available for physical to virtual, or P2V, migrations. Woodgrove Bank could manually install Windows Server inside new virtual machines on their Hyper-V hosts and manually reconfigure each virtual machine to replace existing physical servers. They could also use imaging software to convert physical servers to virtual machines. This method and the manual VM configuration method are relatively high touch, but may be suitable for some Woodgrove Bank physical servers. VMM offers the Physical to Virtual Machine Conversion Wizard. VMM simplifies P2V by providing a task-based wizard to automate much of the conversion process. Because the P2V process is completely scriptable, Woodgrove Bank can initiate large-scale P2V conversions through the Windows PowerShell command line. Here we can see Woodgrove Bank beginning to use VMM to initiate a P2V conversion for SEA SRV01. The VMM P2V wizard initiates the following processes. 1. Install the VMM agent. 2. The VMM agent gathers information about hardware, software, services, hotfixes, and the volume, including file system, volume type, and sectors. 3. The VMM agent exports this information to the VMM database as a machine configuration file in XML format. 4. In the imaging phase, each physical volume becomes a separate virtual hard disk. 5. In the fix-up phase, VMM prepares the virtual hard disks and prepares for virtual machine creation. And 6. VMM creates the virtual machine and attaches virtual hard disks, network adapters, CD-ROM, and memory. Also note that P2V can be processed online and offline. Offline P2V conversion does not create snapshots. Instead, an offline P2V source computer boots into Microsoft Windows PE instead of the base operating system. P2V conversions can be performed through a wizard in the administrator console or through the command line. You can perform a P2V conversion from Windows PowerShell by using the new P2V commandlet. Here we can see VMM scanning the P2V source to determine hardware requirements and any issues that would prevent a successful P2V conversion. When we assign virtual networks to this VM, we'll leave them in a not connected state to prevent naming and addressing conflicts with the physical instance of SCA SRV01. The requirements for physical servers depend on whether you're performing an online or offline P2V. VMM does not support P2V on source computers running Windows NT Server 4.0. However, you can use the Microsoft Virtual Server 2005 Migration Toolkit, or VSMT, or other third-party solutions for converting computers running Windows NT Server 4.0. Pay close attention to memory requirements of the host server that will be handling the creation of VMs and images. And to increase or decrease the allotted virtual memory of the host server, you must perform the P2V from the command line. Performing the best practices below prior to the P2V conversions will result in a smoother conversion process. First, survey the hardware configuration of the source computer. The patch cache should contain all necessary drivers and system files to support the configuration. Bad sectors on a disk cannot be transferred during a P2V conversion. Run disk maintenance and take corrective actions prior to P2V conversion. Use dynamic virtual hard disks to conserve space. And use the most recent drivers from vendors for offline conversions. After the P2V process, we can see the new VM that has been created. Because this VM was created as a highly available VM, Woodgrove Bank can start it and live migrate it to any Hyper-V host in this cluster. By using the VMM P2V wizard, Woodgrove Bank can leverage large amounts of automation to reduce the staff effort and time required to complete their migration to a virtual infrastructure.